Introduction to the XMAP IntelliFlex System Software version 2.0. We are excited to announce the release of XMAP IntelliFlex Software version 2.0. This new software version includes several bug fixes and feature updates that will enhance your user experience. In addition to these updates, we are offering two additional software licenses for purchase, enabling even more capabilities for your XMAP IntelliFlex system. We will walk you through the new features available in version 2.0. Before a complete list of changes and features, please visit the luminexcorp.com IntelliFlex website. This overview includes general system updates and changes to the plate configuration, history, results, current run, and maintenance pages, as well as information on the two new optional software licenses for Electronic Records Compliance, also known as CFR, and Automation. Let's begin. General. The new software update enables the side eject functionality in DRSE model plate carriers, facilitating seamless integration with automation hardware and high throughput laboratories. Plate Configuration. Import. We've improved the import function for users who set up layouts and panels using CSVs. Extraneous commas in import files are now ignored, which reduces the likelihood of a failed import. Layout. Software version 2.0 introduces the ability to assign identifiers to standard and control well types in addition to the unknown well type. This enables better organization and enhanced traceability in your experiments. Panel. On the panel page, we made a few changes. First, we introduced a new graphical interface that simplifies the process of selecting bead regions. With just a few clicks, you can effortlessly navigate and choose the regions you need for your experiment. Additionally, we understand that sometimes you may not require the second reporter channel. Therefore, we've added a convenient toggle option, allowing you to easily disable the second channel entry field if it's not needed for your specific assay. Furthermore, for dual reporter assays, each region may have different requirements and not all of them require the second channel. With our latest update, the name field for the second reporter will no longer autofill thereby giving you the flexibility to quickly tailor the panel to your needs. History page. Edit slash replay. With version 2.0, you can edit previously acquired plates and digitally reacquire them under modified parameters. For exponent users, this is known as replay. Simply navigate to the history page, select the plate you want to modify, and make the necessary adjustments under the appropriate tabs. Please note that physical acquisition settings cannot be changed using Edit. Additionally, using the Edit function, you can now mark partial plates as complete, easily removing unacquired wells from your data. Current run. We've also introduced editing capabilities during a plate run on the current run page. This new added convenience allows for reanalysis in the middle of a run, enabling you to quickly adjust settings without restarting the process. Plate history. With version 2.0, you have access to quickly view different versions of edited plates using plate history. By clicking on results, you can now view the doublet discriminator and bead map graphics for each well, providing you with valuable insights and visualizations. Results. 
With version 2.0, the exponent output file now more closely resembles the output file from legacy XMAP systems. New statistics available in the exponent format CSV include net MFI, average net MFI, normalized net median, and average normalized net median. For compatibility purposes, some statistics which were not present in outputs from the legacy exponent application have been removed from the exponent format output file. These include trimmed peak count, peak count, and percent CV of replicates. Maintenance. Software version 2.0 also introduces maintenance improvements. First, we've included an alternate method of performing a probe height adjustment for 384 well filter and mylar plates. For information on probe height adjustment, please refer to the user manual. To streamline your maintenance experience, Version 2.0 introduces the ability to perform a stringent clean routine using a single action directly from the routines page. Simply load the indicated reagents and select play. Backup restore. Lastly, starting with IntelliFlex version 2.0, a full system backup may be initiated from both the command line and IntelliFlex user interface. All backups are full system backups, including both the operating system and IntelliFlex application data. Next, let's talk about the optional software licenses available with version 2.0. Electronic Records Compliance the XMAP IntelliFlex software version 2.0 introduces an optional electronic records compliance module, which provides functionality that enables users to meet their electronic records security and traceability regulatory requirements for 21 CFR Part 11 or Annex 11. Some of the features enabled with this module include electronic signatures and digital signatures. Electronic Signatures XMAP and Teleflex software enhances traceability by allowing administrators to require electronic user signatures when executing specific actions. These actions are customizable for different regulatory environments and require users to re-enter their credentials for each signature. Signatures are stored on the device with the event they accompany and can be reviewed via the instrument system log or IntelliFlex XLS report. The electronic signatures prompt includes a standard message for each signing event and allows users to enter free text comments as well. Digital signatures. XMAP and Teleflex reports include cryptographic features that authenticate the origin of exported files and confirm that the files have not been altered after export. This helps to ensure that data isn't susceptible to corruption or manipulation. Automation. The XMAP and Teleflex software version 2.0 offers an optional automation software module that enables the automation API or application programming interface. This API allows the IntelliFlex instrument to be controlled by an external PC, enabling integration with hardware such as liquid handlers, robotic arms, or other laboratory automation components. To reduce integration complexity, the IntelliFlex API is built on a modern, integration-friendly REST interface and offers a Swagger UI tool to help developers write and test automation driver code. This concludes our overview of the latest changes introduced in the XMAP and Teleflex software version 2.0. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one of the optional software licenses, please contact your Luminex business manager. Thank you for choosing Luminex as your scientific research partner.